All right, since my usually trusty second saltwater spot there bummed down on me, I'm trying a spot that I've been wanting to try for a long time. I specced it out a few years ago, and I just never had the opportunity. Good Lord. Opportunity. There, there's, I think, four pools here. They've got some really cool stuff. Mountain mullet and pirate perch would be new species for me. Also redfin pickerel and probably you know, a lot of the usual Lapomus suspects. Um, and probably tilapia. The pool behind me is teeming with fish. I can't tell what, it, what they are yet. Um, but I want to come over here because I see some, uh, some little fish. It could be top minnows. Most likely they're just mosquito fish, but especially since I think I only have eight species now, not, uh, I don't know, the way they're swimming, they do not look like mosquitoes. And not nine like I thought I did. Oh, wow, that was fast. That just, I it was just like standing stupid. Oh man, what the frick is wrong with me? They're hammering the crap out of it. Oh wow, just. Uh, I stupidly left my worms in my, uh, in the car the entire time. No, no, they're not there. They're over at that other side. Uh, I was at the jetty and they are stressed, scraggly, and messed up. Oh, there are a couple of real big ones there but only the little ones apparently want to take a mess with me here. Oh, oh, I think I just pulled it away as the big ones fled back in. Oh, oh there we go. Nope. Huh. Oh, oh, what, what is that big ass thing? Holy crap. So hitting it, but well, then they're quitting it. Now, you know what, that big one went down there. That might have been a sleeper. I'm gonna put it through this little hole instead, instead of trying the outside. Oh, and it's under there. Oh, what is it? Ugh. Really big mosquito fish. Pretty sure, yeah. I'm gonna take a picture because I never know, but yeah, it looks like a big mosquito fish. I see the telltale markings on the telling tail. But that is species nine for sure, maybe 10 if I can verify on video that I have nine before this, but um, most likely that's number nine. All right. Well, they are getting it quite a, that's another one. There's some big mosquitoes, man. I guess it could be a seminal killie, but I'm pretty sure it's a mosquito. It's a big one. Oh, what is that? What is that? Same thing. Yeah, this is some big... I think I may have hit PB, though, on my uh, mosquito fish. I don't ever remember hit, catching them this big before. Uh, so far, caught two consecutive PB Pompano and a, the biggest PB East Coast Spanish mackerel. Oh, it's another one. One not on the. That one looked a little different, but. I suppose they all look different. I mean, I could pull a pirate perch out of here, he says, knowing that it's not going to happen. Spook everybody. Uh, another one. I'll stop taking pictures, I guess. Alright, well, the, uh, my next spot was um, supposed to be a nice banded top minnow uh, possibility. And as all lifeless fishermen will tell you, oh, what was that? What is that? Another species, all right. 
Florida bluegill. As all life listers will tell you, um, all ditches where banded or red faced top minnows have ever been sampled before, oh, nice little uh, iced tea color there. All ditches where banded or red faced top minnows have ever been sampled are currently dry. Ah, oh, it took me so long as tiger stripes faded away. Um, but I saw this spot on my way uh, to my uh, la the last spot on film, uh, the warmouth and the mosquito fish spot, basically. And um, yeah, probably produce since it wasn't specced. Sometimes the best spots you just find when you're going to your other spots that don't work out so well. Um, I tell you, on the way over here, though, man, I saw a hawk, not sure what species it was. Uh, I'm not as familiar with the birds of prey in Florida as Georgia right now, but oh man, that was a nice hit. Um, it's got the stripes. Um, flying across the road. Oh, look at that. Oh, let me hurry, get it before they fade. Look at that head, man. That's nice. Had a rattlesnake in his claws, his talons, by the head, of course. Um, to respect. That was awesome to see that guy fly over the road with a rattlesnake. Like, dinner. Raptors are freaking crazy awesome. I, I just remembered the other fish besides flagfish that uh, is marked at the, my last spot. Uh, that I will hit after this um, is Fat Sleeper. So the dwindling daylight might be helpful for the sleeper. They, they tend to like the darkness. Not necessarily even... Uh, maybe using the human garbage as... Oh yeah, there's something. Got it. Yep, something's got it. Oh, and somehow I had I hooked under the bridge. Somehow I hooked the concrete bridge and knocked the fish off. What? What? How stupid? How imbecilic and uh, pathetic does one need to be to do what I just did? What? What? What the absolute crap? I don't even see how that is possible. I'll try to reenact it. No, something hit it. Looks like it's going to give me a chance to. Oh, I did try. A little bluegill. Oh, this one. Not particularly handsome. Um, yeah, the other one looked like a warm mouth. Uh, I'm sure it was just another bluegill. This seems to be a bluegill spot. This is something different. What is this? This is a fat sleeper. Yeah. Look at. Yeah. That is pretty. Very nice. Very nice. Gorgeous. Dang, I like sleepers. They're so cool. Oh no, that's a marking. That's a mark right there. Dang, that's a cool. Look at the the white fringe on the anal fin. That is badass, man. Love it. That might be a PB actually for me. That's a pretty big one. My first one is about the only one that might come close. Sweet. All right, a little. And that was an Aberdeen sunfish hook, man. It's the first uh, sleeper I've caught on a macro hook. What is this? Look at the colors on this. Oh my, look at that sucker. Wow, it's a bluegill. This is a 
red, deep red fins. Deep red fins um, that don't look like it's, they're going to come up on the picture that well. Wow, like I said, some of the best spots. I might not, I might not get to the uh, other spot. Some of the best spots you just find on your way to your scouted spots. I mean, what else might be under there if a fat sleeper is under there? Oh. I think he might I'll just stay here because uh, I already got one of the two um, scouted for the, at the last spot. And, uh, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, it's just another teeny, oh, no, no, no. It's a dollar sunfish, nice. Wow, that's a tiny one on an Aberdeen. Give me a break. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, I got one of the two um, target species here already. And uh, whew, I'm racking up species. And um, the other one is flagfish. And I don't catch flagfish. Oh, no, I was going to say, maybe the smallest fish I've ever caught on an Aberdeen. But I've caught any acanthus on Aberdeens. Caught banded and uh, blue spotted, which would be very close. I mean, they're all, along with dollars, are all those mini sunfish. Uh, what, oh, what was another fat sleeper? That could have been a big mouth. Oh, that was so dark. Damn it. Oh, that could have been my big mouth. Lifer. Son of a. That was a little differently shaped. Ah, what is this? This is something weird. Oh, it's another fatty. Yeah, no, I think that was a big mouth. Because it's not shaped like this. Why am I talking like this? Because I'm a freak. Gosh, these are great fish. All right. Well, I'm going to let him down easy. You know, I've already got one video screenshot of me losing my lifer or a lifer uh, uh, big mouth sleeper too dark for me to get a second one here or I probably would oh this is kind of a biggie what is it what is it is a it's dark whatever it is it looks like a, a bullhead and it is a bullhead huh. it's a yellow bullhead because it's got white uh, whiskers on his chin. All right, well, dang. This is a crazy spot, man. Crazy spot. And I just, I didn't need to micro for this guy either. But I did. So that's what I hate about the micro. So many things I hate about micro fishing. And love about micro fishing. One thing is I can't see Dick, because my eyes are so terrible. There we go. Well, at least uh, there's still enough light that the GoPro is is producing a picture. All right, let's test my theory that they need a bigger bait because it's so dark. Or I just caught them all out of this hole of honey. There's another little break, uh, about three feet, no, two and a half, two feet down. Oh, oh, no, there's something. Oh, and it's, oh, another dollar. This one's a pretty one. That one was uh, not quite so colorful. This is nice. Yeah, man. I'm gonna have to, uh, figure out where this is and mark it to come back here again sometime because this is this is crazy man look at that little dude I'd like to look at him it's another dollar another teeny dollar thought this might be a talop nice green ones now coming up Again, I banged it into the wall. Another dollar, man. 
cash register is open. All very colorful. Take my word for it. Well, you'll see the pictures at least. Even if GoPro isn't showing it to you, well. I may have to just go over to that other little hole. Oh, oh, that was a little sizable one. Remember when I said after the first fish at this spot was a bluegill, I said, oh, I guess this is just a bluegill place, Blue, bluegill. I haven't got one since then, I don't think. Oh, 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 big salka. Another, another bullhead, I think. Yeah. Maybe the same bullhead. It's a yellow. Uh, it's grunting at me. It poked me. So, you know, trifecta, I guess. Ah, uh, see a little easier. There we go. We'll go back in there. A little deeper. That time I was a little early. This time I might be late, but nope, got him. Another fatty? That is my PB three. Oh, and that's a PB size wise, I have no doubt. Goodness, look at the size of that Sakahachi. Oh man. Hold on there. Oh, oh, you're gonna flip for me, huh? I may need to go get my headlamp. This is awesome. Is that a PB most fat sleepers in a day? And that was the second, I think, PB size uh, today. In the last few minutes. The only thing that can make this better is to pull a big mouth out of here. Big mouth for a big mouth. Another one? Or is it not as a little bullhead? It's hard to say, let's see. Another fatty. What the crap, man. I just keep taking pictures, because you know, I assume I can tell. I mean, I, I assume it's like a, uh, a Pink Floyd situation, so I think I can tell. Big mouth from fatty. Doesn't rhyme. All right. Dang. I mean, that's four or five? Four, I guess. Four. Not including the one that flew off, because that was a big man. Says I. Oh wow! I took that white right down, and I think it's another fatty. Something. I'm gonna have to go get a my headlamp. If they're gonna keep biting, no, it's a it's a bullhead. Yeah, I thought as soon as I said that, um, I saw the shape was wrong. Oh, it's a yellow. I think I'll just take a picture. I can see the whiskers are light. I'm gonna go get the lamp because I am staying until they're done. Nothing's biting all of a sudden. Nope, there's white. And there's a flyer? What? No, there's no way. Yep, bluegill. Like, there's no way there's a flyer. That's a nice one. I'll take a picture of that. Mosquitoes are just starting to tear me up. Just, I just went from my at zero bites by mosquitoes to um, getting swamped. And they somehow just found me or something. Woke up, came out of their bat cave, whatever. This has been a really good day, complete day. Struggle through most of it. Tough fishing, but sometimes just a few 
good catches or a few big catches can save a day. And what's this? And sometimes just having that great last spot, another bullhead. This one might be different. It's hard to say. I'll take a picture of the, definitely not the yellow color that the yellow bullheads were. It's got a white belly, which I think indicates brown bullhead over black, which has um, yellow belly. All right, that's the profile. Out and out there, <laughs> white chin whiskers. It's another yellow. If I get one more bullhead, I'm gonna call it a night, because uh, whatever this is, Oh, what is it? It's another fatty, I think. Looks like a walleye. It's another fat. Oh, it's a big one, too. Look at that beautiful markings on that one. The camera's doing weird stuff. Fortunately. Oh, why don't I try that? Bring the light directly on it. Uh, that's at least four, maybe five. I don't know. Ooh. Well, I think the bite has ceased. I'm calling it after that last fat sleeper. Awesome find. I don't know how many species I lost track after I top 10, but it's somewhere between 12 and 15. So yeah. Very good, very good.